I can't say I'm the biggest Taylor Swift fan in the world. I'm not sure I've ever intentionally listened to any of her music. But I gotta tell you, on this occasion, I will let her finish because my producers, in their wisdom, played me one of her newest songs, Antihero. I actually think it's very, very conservative. Click the link in the description below so you never miss out on any of the fine content that comes only for Daily Wire Plus members on our member block. It is like a whole other YouTube channel just for you. I don't know that I've ever listened to an entire Taylor Swift song to completion. This is really smart though. Even that first line when she says, I'm getting older but never wiser, and this is a big problem. And I'm depressed now, and I'm just up in the middle of the night, and I don't, and, I, and you see the ghosts everywhere, right? The ghosts are representing this kind of past that's gone away, this past that she had sort of made an idol out of it when it was the present. But because she, she never had any goal toward which she was progressing because she never had a, a clear vision of the future that she wanted because she was just content to just kind of be a big lib and just live for herself and do the shots and that that's all all that's fun is just like right now because of that she's super duper depressed and then all those kind of fun moments in the present when you're in your early 20s let's say if you never mature if you never get any wiser as you physically get older those nice memories become kind of ghosts that haunt you because they're the reminder of better times, times that have left you because you have to grow up eventually. If you just remain an overgrown child, you're going to be very, very miserable. If you do the things that are proper to a 22-year-old when you're 52, they're no longer proper and they're no longer going to be satisfying. And so then Taylor Swift says, I've been spending all of this time you know, focused on all these stupid things and I haven't been looking in the mirror and suggesting perhaps the problem is me. Okay. Pause there. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Did you hear? My, play that line again. Did you hear my covert narcissism? Might disguise as altruism, like some kind of consciousness. Wow! Did you hear my covert narcissism? that I disguise as altruism. Oh my gosh. Is Taylor just a far right conservative? Because she's just absolutely cutting to the heart of the, the libs today, which is their, their utter narcissism. And I mean that really in a very technical sense, that the libs who, who value nothing over, over themselves, who don't worship God, who don't you know, see their fellow human beings as creatures made in the image and likeness of God, and therefore their brothers and sisters who, who they should have some care for through charity. They just basically say, well, I want to be a good person because I want to feel good. And I want to, and I just, I feel bad and I want to feel good. And it's, it's a kind of, uh, look at me, look at me, you know, I'm so wonderful. They're always the ones, you know, launching the big, very public nonprofit organizations, throwing big, big parties for themselves. They're doing it because it's a covert narcissism that they mask as an altruism. When they post the black square, on Instagram, or when they, they always, it's always slacktivism, right? It's always on social media. It's all about them. Even she says earlier, I've been, I've been uh, pierced through the heart but never killed, which I assume is a reference to, she's had all these boyfriends, but none of them have ever really taken her. 
She's never committed to any of them. I don't think Taylor Swift has ever been married. But she's almost saying, I, w- I wish I had been. I wish I'd been pierced through the heart and killed. I wish I'd uh, l- surrendered my narcissistic self in love to another human being. But I haven't done any of that because I'm just so damn narcissistic. I wake up screaming from dreaming. One day I'll watch as you leaving and life will lose all its meaning. Yeah, drinking that wine. Like an aging wine millennial lady. I'm the problem it's me. The problem is me. Wow. Everybody agrees. I'll stare directly at the sun, but never <laughs> in the mirror. <laughs> I have this dream. My daughter in law kills me for the money. She thinks I left them in the will. The family gathers around and reads it, and then someone screams out. She's laughing, laughing up at us from hell. Who got the beach house? He's having it turned into a f-ing cat sanctuary. Cats don't even like the beach. There's probably a secret encoded message that means something else. Yeah. P.S. There's no secret encoded message that means something else. Love, Taylor. Great. Well, good job, Chad. You finally pushed it too far. What are you implying by that? I think she's implying that you haven't hesitated to trade on mom's name. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. I think she killed her. You've gone too far! She didn't fall off that balcony! She was pushed! What's amazing is you're going to have libs who have no self-consciousness whatsoever. They're gonna listen to that as kind of ironic. Oh yeah, it's I'm me, I'm the problem, it's me. No, look at her kids, her kids are terrible. And look at this and that, no, come on, it's just ironic. You're not the problem, Taylor, be easier on yourself. But she is, and she's looking out from the, the coffin. And she see, these are her kids. These are the people that she formed. That is a problem. And she has created problems. And she's, I, th- I think, I read this as earnest. I read this as sincerely introspective and really insightful. I don't know who wrote the song. If she wrote this, this is incredibly, wow. It's the most conservative song I've heard in, in years. Oh my goodness. So I have a one sheet here about it. And she says it's one of her favorite songs she's ever written was inspired by her insecurities and feelings of self-hatred. She has been under fire in the past few days because critics have called one of her scenes fat phobic. Oh, that's funny because she's looking down and seeing herself as fat. And, you know, you're not allowed to say that if you're becoming unhealthy, you should try to do something to change that. People are going to say that the song is ironic because you shouldn't hate yourself. No, that's just a perversion. It's like a kind of an anorexia because obviously Taylor Swift is not fat. So it's just a misperception of herself. And she's not really the problem. Other people are the problem. But I much prefer the earnest read of the song. And I think the the text, the lyrics really lend itself much more to that, which is, no, no, she does have problems that she has made for herself or at the very least exacerbated for herself. And the solution to that is not to think less of herself exactly, but rather to think of herself less. She has to take stock of herself. That's what the look in the mirror thing is about. But don't look in the mirror merely to you know, aggrandize yourself or even to nitpick every little problem and say, I've got to fix that wrinkle. I've got to fix this. I've got to do this. Do, 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 do. But rather you look in the mirror, you take stock, you say, where am I right now? Am I where I want to be? Why am I waking up in the middle of the night? Why am I getting older, but not getting wiser? Why is this stuff happening? It can't all just be a coincidence. Oh, maybe it's because I, I've been pierced through the heart, but I've never given myself over fully to another person. I've never committed to this other person. I've never thought maybe I'm a little too wrapped up in this problem or that problem. This is an an amazing song. I love this song. In terms of the music, it's just a sort of fine pop whatever. But the lyrics, really, really good job, Taylor. If you want to see live reactions weeks before anyone else, click the link in the description and join the Michael Knowles Show member block to get that and so much more on Daily Wire Plus. We'll see you there. 